Okay, so 90 degrees. So what I'm looking at here is I am looking at how much, not how much hair I'm removing because it's irrelevant what hair is on the floor. The thing that is relevant is what is left on the head. So I'm looking as we work through with the razor about how much I can see through the hair. And again, this allows us, so you can see that we're starting to just thin down. So if you look at this area here, you can see through here more than you can through here. So this is where we're looking to soften. And because I'm doing it at 90 degrees, and you know that it's at 90 degrees because I can see the top of the razor, rather than at 180 where I can see all of this and all of the blade, which would remove too much hair. So we're just 90 degrees combing through and just slowly but surely removing the right amount of bulk that we want to allow us to actually get this textured feel in the haircut. And one of the things with razoring as well is it's very important to kind of allow the hair to move, to do what it wants to do, because the hair will show you things. And exactly as I'm saying about me looking at the hair and looking for lighter areas or darker areas, this is the sort of thing which will tell me if I need to remove more hair, less hair, um, and how the bulk and shape of the haircut is forming. So we've removed, we've combed the hair down, and what we've done is we've thinned down this part of the hair. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the perimeter edge and the actual length. And I kinda don't really want to, or I wouldn't advise doing this as doing these two things together, i.e. to try and thin the hair and shorten the hair. They're two different movements and strokes with the razor. When we're looking to thin the hair, what we're looking to do is to use short, uh, longer, softer strokes to allow me to thin down a larger area. And notice that we are using all of the blade against the hair rather than using it on its point or on its uh, edge. Whereas once we're starting to look at shortening the hair, we're using shorter, sharper strokes and we're working generally with one area of the blade because we're working with a smaller area. Rather than, you know, you can see when we do this, I'm gonna be using one area of the blade. Whereas when we do this, I'm gonna be using all of the blade. So again, just a couple of little bit of, a, of differences about how we actually use the blade during the haircut. So, just working through that way, removing, you can see the shorter strokes that we're doing. Those shorter strokes are allowing me to remove a little bit more of the length rather than to thin the hair down. Because remember, we've already thinned this area. And this is the process that we're gonna work through all the way through the perimeter edge of the haircut. Mm -hmm.